You need deliverance. You hear me? Yeah, because there's a spirit that visits you. Yes, and it feeds you when you are asleep. A lot, almost so every day. Always dream eating. Yes, huh? I'm dreaming eating every day, every moment, even if you tell anybody here. You know, she's a wife. Yes. Did she tell you? No, she always tells me. She said what? Uh, no, there's a problem in the stomach now. There's something that. No, is I'm talking about eating. No, she told me about eating. So that is the cause of the problem. Because whatever she's eating here, it changes to be like snakes. Now things are moving in her stomach here. Exactly. Huh? Exactly, did. Did she tell you that she feels things moving here? Yes. Huh? Yes. Uh, so, it's your wife? Yes. So, why you marry her? I love you so much. But there was another one you wanted to marry before this one. No, that one, yeah? she was older than me. Yeah? She was older than me. I can't hear you. She was older than me. So by that time, I decided to speak to God that, Lord, I'll wait for you. I need someone who is faithful to me. So that's where I think, that's how I found this. So God loves you. They won't do anything to you. Thank you, David. This woman must carry children in Jesus' name. Amen. Go to toilet. Thank you, Tess. Eh? You, you can go to toilet. God bless. You see, you see, those things are going to come out. Are you hearing my brother? Thank you, Jesus. Eh? Thank you, Jesus. So you have been worried about what this is happening? I was worrying a lot. Eh? A lot. I've been praying for it. How long you pray about that? I think now, it's maybe it's five years. You see, can you see your wife going to toilet? You yes. see now she's running. Thank you, Lord. Can you see? Thank you, Jesus. Because it's very close now. Thank you, the Jesus. flight is about to fly. Thank you. <laughs> Look at your wife. Can you see? Huh? Can you see she's running there? <laughs> yeah? Above eh? the heavens. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. How long you pray for that? How long you pray for this? <laughs> it's been long, maybe five years, more than five years. Are you a pastor? Maybe you're telling me that I'm a pastor. I don't know about I'm that. I'm asking. I don't know about that. You don't know? Yes. But you want to be a pastor? Yeah. You know, people like you, you want to be a pastor. In your heart, you want to be a pastor. You, and you don't know to be a pastor, it means this. You have to get attacks. Thank you, Lord. You understand? Thank you, And Lord. this attacks helps you to pray the more. Thank you, Jesus. You understand? God will never allow you to pray for people until you overcome your own attack. Oh, that's what I was asking. That eh? God, if I failed here in my house, I think you won't use me anyway because here. So because you want to be used. Yeah, my kids. Yeah, yeah, my kids. Uh, because you want to be used. Yes. So <laughs> you want to be used. Can you hear me? You want to be a pastor. But now, when the challenge of being a pastor come, he doesn't understand it. But this one is too much. My eh? wife, my kids. My kids, I'm keeping them indoors. Which is very I only good. take them if I come here to church. My brother, I want to tell you, any attack that comes your way, there's nobody, I want to tell you, I have to be honest with you. 
if you want to be a very powerful, or if God wants you to be a very powerful pastor, he allows attacks. This one is too much. You know about my kids. You know about kids. It's better about me. You know, I wanted to move the flag. There are messages that I wrote to my wife. Let's move from this flag. There are messages. If she come now, she will show the message. I was, I was using a work, work phone that, please, let's move from this flag. This attack, this flag, I think, is... You want to run? No, I wanted to move. I say, because people, they keep on coming, complaining about my kids every time. So I say, my kids... So who's giving those. your wife food when she's asleep? Mm, I didn't see any, anyone. I... So where are you going to run to? <laughs> because... <laughs> They can still follow you there. I changed the flat. I changed like from first floor, I went to 40th floor now. <laughs> I'm one month in that flat that we are staying. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever devil put in front of my life. Whatever the devil put in front of my life. I remove it right now. I remove it. Can you remove that thing? I remove everything that the devil placed in front of me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <laughs> you know why I say pray this prayer? Because people like this, it's like everyone, all of us here. You can laugh at this man. What he's facing, we are all facing the same. And we are facing them in a different categories or different ways. What happens is, when God loves you, I want to tell you now, my brother. You could not come here. You were supposed to be holding a spear. I love that church a lot. Ten years, I love that church. If you speak my about brother, that church. My brother, wait, wait. I say you could not come here. You were supposed to be holding a spear now. Even yourself pointing at others. This <laughs> so when God loves you, he makes sure that your problem must not be solved. So that you seek him more. Are you hearing that? So, all of us here, we have problems. What do you say? No, Daddy, you speak about this. Uh, you no, know, God revealed, before even I move out, revealed, He mixed the, my church with the. Let's leave your church. We are talking about yeah. when God loves you. Amen. You understand? Yeah. He allows challenges. You must not talk about that church as if it's an evil church. There's nothing called church which is evil. But that one disturbed me that why this church, these people of this church are in this church, in my church now. That was the problem. It, that I, I can't hear you. You know, before I moved out, there was Tell this church. The mouth. Let me hear this. Brother. Before I moved out, uh, there was a famous pastor. This pastor is known. I think he moved my out. My brother, mm. let's leave the famous pastor. Uh -huh. Okay. And so, also another pastor. Okay. I'm telling you, mm. when God wants you to be in another reality, mm. he allows challenges to happen to you. Can you leave pastors and look at your challenges? Amen. If you look at your challenges right now, mm. God has set free your wife now. Thank you, Jesus. Rest Thank you, Jesus. And look here. Satan will never come to you if you don't have his food. Amen. I'm telling you now. So now, the, your, your wife's womb and stomach was the fridge of Satan. She already got a cooperation. The hey, hey, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you see this brother, I'm telling him so that he must learn. I'm saying, you see your, the womb of your wife? Can you see the stomach? They were a fridge of Satan. So now, demons, they have to come now and stay in your house. Thank you, Jesus. Now, because these things now is out and the womb is closed now, you need Jesus. It's Thank finished. You, Jesus. And when Jesus is there, you fellowship with him. You leave people. Stop accusing people. Oh, Lord. It won't oh, help you. Because if you accuse, I want to tell you now, if you accuse a pastor, that that pastor is stupid, that pastor is wrong, the question is, why did you go there? 
at the first place. Even yourself, you were stupid. You are supposed to call yourself stupid. Never accuse any man of God. It's very dangerous. Because that man of God need God himself. You hear me, my brother? This time now, you found the truth. How do you feel, Mama? I'm feeling very relieved. You are relieved now? Yes. That pressure is gone. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone now. It's gone. You see? Yes, Sit down. <laughs>